good morning students how are you all i hope you all fine so today we are going to start a new topic that is lithosphere while i said this word you may have a doubt about it what is mean by lithosphere so we have to clarify that what is mean by lithosphere in our earth there are plenty of spheres are there without these spheres we could not survive in this world you may know that in our solar system only in our planet only the animals human beings planets and everything is applicable to live why why because we have an certain features what are they that is only is known as a spheres so first one is known as lithosphere and second one is known as hydrosphere third one that is atmosphere and finally that is known as biosphere here the word litho the word lithosphere it indicating a land so we are cultivating all the agriculture products like vegetables fruits and food grains and everything only with the help of land so lithosphere is very very important and second one that is known as hydrosphere you may study this in science hydro this is a word of water in science name and third one that is known as atmosphere this is a thin layer of the gases which is surrounded our earth so without the litho hydro and atmosphere we could not survive could you live without the gases for 2 minutes no it may difficult to live why because breathing is our essential one could you live without the water for a week no that is also very dangerous to us it make us to be in danger we will be in hospital we know we know that and land so without these three we could not survive in this world so if you want to live we need land water and the air when these three is presented in somewhere else you just think not only in the earth if it is presented in the venus mercury or anything of the planet in there is an possibilities of biosphere what is mean by biosphere biosphere is known as a life extinct what kind of life from the beginning itself i told you the plants trees animals and everything so these are the spheres which is presented in our earth among these spheres we are going to study only a lithosphere before that we have to know that the structure of the earth the structure of the earth which is consist of three layers here i can show you that it is three layers first one that is crust and second one that is known as mantle and third one that is known as core here i mentioned that crust mantle and core so crust so crust is an thin layer of the earth it is also called as an skin of the earth how much it extends in our earth it extends almost 5 to 30 kilometers it has an continental crust and oceanic crust i can show you the pictures also here this is a land mass lithosphere here is a water body hydrosphere here i could show you that the continental crust so which means it is present in the land and oceanic crust that is present in the bottom of the ocean so that only it is called as an oceanic crust and next the crust is presented there is a sial and sima what is mean by sial and sima this is an a mineral composite here sial that is an expansion is there at the same time sima i told you sima also there is an expansion sial sial is known as silica and al al is known as aluminium so these are the one is presented in the crust so that only we can get an a, a plenty of minerals in the crust and sima silica and 
magnesium so these are the one which is presented in the crust and we'll go with the next one that is mantle i told you know the crust the crust extends from 5 to 30 kilometers at the same time mantle that is second layer of the earth it extends almost 2900 kilometers the mantle can be divided into two part that is namely upper and then lower i could say that the upper mantle is solid because this place is too much of rigid rocks are there so it is as a solid one lower mantle in this place rocks in the shape of molten one it is also called as a magma what is mean by magma magma is known as a liquid form of rocks when the magma is coming out it is called as a lava students you can remember when the magma will come out when there is a volcanic eruption in that time only the magma will come and in that time it is called as a lava okay we'll go with the next topic that is third part of the earth that is known as core the core it is consist of knife when i mention the word knife you can get an fear so why sir is using the word weapons no knife is known as it has in some kind of expansion n i that is known as nickel and f e that is known as ferrous ferrous is nothing but that is chemistry name chemistry name of what chemistry name of iron so in the place of core there is an nickel is presented and it is has a two type of core one is inner core and another one is outer core the inner core that is in the solid shape and outer core is known as liquid shape the inner core why it is in solid why because in this place too much of pressure is there when the pressure is high it creates an a solid one so that only the inner core that is solid and then the outer core is in the liquid shape and we'll go with an next topic that is known as a types of rocks a types of rocks that is very very important for us why because here i could show you that the rocks very heavy i couldn't carry this okay no problem so rocks how the rocks are formed and what type of rocks are there in our earth that is only we are going to see so types of rocks igneous rocks igneous rocks this is called as an a mother rocks At the same time it is called as a primary rocks why this is called as a primary rock or mother rock in the sense because of the de degradation of the igneous rocks only the sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks are formed the igneous rocks this igneous rocks how it is formed it is formed because of the volcanic eruption already i told you volcanic eruption when the volcanic eruption is happen the lavas is started to comes out and it start to create an one layer that layer only is called as an igneous rocks and then it create an two type of rocks the two type of rocks is nothing but a granite and basalt so these two type of rocks are formed by the igneous rocks second layer rocks is nothing but sedimentary rock this rock is deposited by the three agents one is river second one is wind third one is known as glaciers so this three is creating a sedimentary rocks for example here a sand this sand is decomposition of the igneous rocks when igneous rocks is decompose it become as a sand at the same time it becomes as a, a small particles of the stones a small stones you can hear the sound also so stones so primary rocks is going to be in decompose 
and it became as an, a small small stone and a sand that is known as sedimentary rocks sedimentary rocks there is a plenty of varieties there that is chalk limestone and so on third rock that is known as metamorphic metamorphic it is a word which is comes from the metamorphosis so this metamorphosis is is known as change to form so totally the rock shape is going to be in change so for that there is a number of example is there i could say that two example specially so first one that is basalt basalt is going to change as in schist and then type that is known as limestone the limestone is going to convert it into marbles so these are the two examples we read in the metamorphic rocks okay students we are going to complete the lesson so so far we studied about the lithosphere 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 is an a part of the earth we studied a number of spheres that is lithosphere hydrosphere atmosphere and biosphere we read what are the uses and what are they also after the studying about the types of sphere we went to an structure of the earth so there is a three type of structures is there that is namely crust mantle and core we studied mantle in 2 and 2 and then core in 2 and 2 also at last we studied a types of rocks the rocks can be divided into three one is igneous rocks sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks that is only we studied okay students tomorrow while you are com coming to school you have to collect a variety of rocks not in huge in size a small in size so that only we could understood and we can justify that what type of rocks that is whether it is an igneous rocks sedimentary rocks or metamorphic rocks thank you students